Hey everyone, it's Manny at Manny's Mic Locker. How you doing? I thought I'd do a, a video to recap a little bit over a month of being monetized. I did a video a few weeks ago actually when I first got monetized and I had made after one week $10. So like the last video, I'm just going to get straight to the point and show you how much I made in 30 days of being monetized on YouTube. So here we go. You'll be seeing what I see here. Uh, this is off the YouTube Studio app. It shows that to date I've made $217.69. Yep, 28 days, that's how much I've made. Seven days, how much have I made? 72 bucks. 28 days, back again to 17. Uh, it does give you a showdown of the videos that I've made the most money on. Or So when I did the monetized video at the beginning of the month, there I was making $76 for that video. Then the next video after that, uh, that did really well, was a video I did of Stevie Van Zant. He is in The Sopranos, has a really cool studio out of New York City. So that tour and that show, I made $33 from that, from, you know, people watching it. Not really giving any memberships, I don't think. It was just basically whatever YouTube said I made through people watching ads. Then as it goes down, Dave Catching, uh, that was a... A, a Mike Locker tour out in the desert, Rancho de la Luna. That was $15 and it goes down and down until like a dollar. That being said, for those that saw how much I made, maybe you want to leave. For people that are trying to get monetized or that want to kind of understand how it works, I've kind of figured out a few things that were interesting about it. Now, I'm a lot older and as you can tell, I have a studio and this is what I do. I make a living making records not being a youtuber but i do like making content so a lot of my videos are showcasing producers talented people i love and maybe even my own band of making music so that being said this is just kind of a a perk to you know being able to do what you love so i have a really cool camera i've got lavaliers but this comes from me working for another um, channel called Produce Like a Pro where I did content for them and also there's companies like Audioscape which I'll do content for them but they don't necessarily get paid in finances here uh, some of the gear behind me is a fair trade and I love it so that's how I kind of do my hustle not doing the YouTube hustle all right so I made it $217 how did that come about when I went into my in the YouTube studio app you can you can see how much you've made and I'll go down to supers. Supers are where people, uh, and this I think th this is new. So if you look at my, whatever the title is, let's say this video, and you'll see a thanks there. If you click on that thanks, well, there is a Hershey's ad. I wish they were giving me some chocolate. <laughs> so I did a video, it's called, it's a trick for getting a little one out of a kick drum, right? On this video, if you look at the title of Manny's Mic Locker, it gives you a thumbs up, thumbs down, there's a share, there's a remix, and then you'll see a thanks. That feature is something new to YouTube. And if I click on it, you can give me a dollar and 99 cents. Click on the next one, it's 4.99. Click on the next one, it's 10 bucks. And then you can just slide the scale over. That's a really cool feature because I wasn't aware that that would actually make me money. I wasn't even thinking about it. When I did the first video, I said, hey, well, you can buy daddy a coffee. And people clicked on the thanks. And some people give me 30 bucks, $5, uh, 10 you know, $2. And I was really shocked. And I, I did buy coffee. <laughs> and I did go to Trader Joe's too. So that was surprising. I can't do the hustle to ask for money. I can say buy daddy a coffee and it's kind of cute or right, cool, but I don't want to do that every video where I'm like, hey, can someone give me, it's kind of like a bum or someone putting out their hand. It is expensive what I do, but I think that because I make a living making music, doing funny stuff on YouTube to try to, you know, clickbait people into giving you money or even seeing your videos is something I'm just not really interested. My feelings are, if I wasn't saying buy daddy a coffee, I probably wouldn't have had that extra 70 bucks. But if you took that away from that one video, that would still leave me about $120, $130 a month that I made for just doing videos. So I think there is 
a lot of possibilities. One interesting thing that I was trying to figure out when releasing a video was what time should you release a video? When I looked on YouTube or made a search for it, everybody said sometime after 4 p.m. Now, I had been part of another channel and they would like to release their videos at 9 or 10 in the morning and I never understood what that was about. So then when I saw that you have to release them at 4, I thought, well, maybe I'll do the same. But then I got, I went into my YouTube app, I hit analysis, so you can go and look in the top here and it says audience. All right, so it tells me my audience. Sadly, there's no women watching Manny. Mm, looks like I have a bunch of dudes. Scare fest. So anyways, it shows me what are the ages of the people that watch me. I do put every video, it's not for kids. I'm just not interested in dealing with anyone that would be underage or making comments or being silly. So I put my videos are not made for kids. So maybe that's a huge factor of how many people wouldn't be seeing me. But I didn't put no girls, but look at there's no women here. <laughs> so it says gender, 100% men. What's their brothers? No sisters. Then it gives you a little rundown of United States, Canada, my UK peeps, and it goes down to list. Now what's interesting about that, if you go to audience, so I clicked on analytics, and then it gave me my audience, and it gave me the time. So on my just because I've got all dudes here. It's a dude fest, sausage fest. Um, and we talk about gear. It looks like it starts around 6 a.m. till about 6 p.m. I'm assuming that's the East Coast because that'd be like 9 a.m. here and then um, like 6 p.m. So those are my people that would be watching my videos. So one of the last videos that I did last week I did two videos and I tried to do that and I released them at not 6 a.m. but 6.08 a.m. I heard that if you release a video like on times of 8, 9, 10, or 11, 12, whatever time, that the algorithms are overloaded with a lot of people releasing videos on the hour. So I released it at like 6.08 a.m. And let me go back to the content, to the video. One of the, the first videos I did doing that, at it, sitting at 6.08 uh, was Dave Ketching. And that was the Rancho de la Luna. So on that video, I got 4,000 views, or almost 5,000. And that was kind of shocking. But that may have to do with content because I did tag Dave Ketching. He's worked with Queens of the Stone Age. And of course, there's name factors at work, but I was still applying what I saw about the times to release the video. So that day, it was like 6.08, 6.05, something like that, and I got 4,000 views. Then a few days later, I did the same thing. 6.08, I released another video, and that video is at 8,000 or 8.2 thousand, and that was the Steven Van Zandt uh, studio tour I did in New York City. Now, even though those videos got the most views, though those videos didn't make the most money. <laughs> Why is that, Manny? Well, when I look at my analysis of what money I made, it's going to show me once again that when I did my first video, which was describing about being monetized, that, that video made me $76.43. That came about from the thank you. And the thank you was, I had seen that they added a new feature that would let people appreciate you or appreciate what you're doing. And my given, I just thought it would be cool, is like, well, buy daddy a coffee. And that's me. Not knowing that, it looks like on that day, I made, um, let's see if I can go back and find out what it is. Let's go back to that. Oh, I know what it was. So on that day, I'm going to go to um, Supers, $74.31. I'm going to click on that, and it shows me the date about March the 9th or 10th. And that made me the most money because people bought me a coffee. <laughs> so in my own membership, I only have three people that have become a member. So if I go to membership, we got... Leonardo, we have Big Kick Leo, and we got SK. So I got three people that follow me. But it is interesting. So by those memberships, I've made $5.31. All 
I don't know. I think buying daddy, buying daddy a coffee is really cool. So in my memberships, these are the options that I've given in levels. And I just wrote them. I don't know what to do. So one was, if you go to memberships, uh, one was uh, Daddy Needs a Coffee. It was two ninety nine. Keep the lights on. That was six ninety nine. And then It's a Good Day. It was twenty four ninety nine. That being said, I just put those in there. Those weren't really meant to that anybody are going to do that. So you do have possibilities if you can sell it or persuade people to invest in you. Like if you, I mean, if you're like mountain climbing or going on these crazy trips and people love to watch your videos, yeah, it could be expensive and maybe you could work out somehow of people helping you out, you know, like tools or sporting goods or maybe you're a great baseball player and you know, you're like, buy me a mitt. You know, I don't even know what a mitt would cost these days. I'm into microphones. It's a little expensive and I couldn't really ask people to buy me microphones. It's too much. I got my memberships. I know how much money I'm making. Now that I'm thinking about how this really works, I have 40,000 views. Watch time is about 3.7K. I've had in the last month 450 subscribers that have added on, so that's cool. And I've made $217. And as I scroll around, 40,000 views, views this month. I would say for me, I don't know if saying it's a success, but when I first started making these videos, I only had like, I don't know, seven people would watch them. And the fact that now that I've kind of like got my training wheels on as far as finding out things to do on, on YouTube to have opportunities to make money, but I would rely more on on educational videos and things that are really cool that can help my industry, which I'm a producer. So in that, you kind of get a capped opportunity. I'm not really doing anything that's super fantastic. I think as though I'm already geared up on my phone for the YouTube. So if I did do any videos like that, that's straight away from tutorials, I could possibly make some money. So I will say this, if you have a plan, you have a strategy, and you're way more hipper than me to get, I mean, some people are just so into it. I think you can, you can do something to make some money uh, for doing what you love. As far as asking people for money, I think Patreon and places like that, I don't really like those where you have to pay to see anything. And we all know that YouTube is free. I mean, if you want to go see your favorite band, what are they doing? You can find it on YouTube. You don't have to pay for anything. But if you do love someone that's doing content that you really are passionate about and you like what they do, I'm definitely not against someone buying me a coffee. It really did help me. Did that have an impact on my life? Absolutely. I haven't yet cashed it out to get it, but when I do, yeah, I'm going to the, I'm going to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and feed me with the fire to get in here and make some more records. So there is a, I think a little happy ending to that, that yeah, you can make money. But ever since then, and I've not mentioned that, there's no money that comes in from the thank yous. So I do think that was the other thing that if you added that to your repertoire, yeah, you can maybe make a few bucks. But once again, I don't feel that comfortable doing it. And I know I'm saying it in this video, but it's also to let you know that you can make money. And I'm not saying that if you were a handsome, pretty, go lucky person, maybe there's ways that you can really find someone that you really like and you can support them. I hear about a lot of people that travel, travel around the country and they live in their van and they make their living off of people helping them get to the next city, which is probably gas, food, repairs. I haven't dived into too much of that, but I, I mean, obviously I'm not doing that. I did have a trip one time where I had gone to China for two years and recorded. That was insane. And right before I left for China, this is like 2011 or 12, I think I did do like a, it wasn't really a GoFundMe, but I had said, hey everybody, here's my Venmo, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to China, I'm gonna record some bands. I didn't plan on being away for two years, but it did take two years. So when I went to China, I think I got maybe about 150 to 200 bucks. People donated to me to help me um, do my cause for that. Yeah, sometimes people ask for money, but now that this is years later and I've now, this is my life, this is what I do.
by the added coffee or not, you have the tools now, I think that, not really from what I've just shared with you, but I think if you look more into it and find some other people, and you can get monetized, I do think there is a cool, you know, I don't know, it would be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but my friend Thomas, I'm within this company called Analogger, which is a wonderful company. Uh, we, he gets a kick out of it. He's always asking me, how much money did you make? And I'm like, $3. And he's like, dude, I have to get monetized. So, you know, it's interesting. It's fun. If you're a teenager or if you're someone really creative and you could push the boundaries of uh, visual and, you know, making content. I mean, there's people that... I hear make a lot of money on Instagram and in all that world. I can't do it. I don't have enough time in my life. I went to a studio today and did a studio tour of a, of a studio called New Monkey, which is Elliot Smith's old studio. There's a video I did a few days ago about Elliot Smith's mic locker. So that's what I did with my day today that I'm going to release it. And I definitely won't be mentioning anything about support or help. Maybe just likes or like this channel. I don't even think I said that in the video. So you'll see it coming up. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. This is my studio. Tomorrow I reset. Today is Friday. And I'm going to try to get this edited up so it can come out possibly tomorrow. We'll see. So anyways, have a wonderful weekend. I'm doing a mixing session tomorrow, which is going to be a long day. And I'll see if I can get this video out before then because you have to edit it and do it. And I'll try to do it pretty fast and pretty minimal. Man, you got monetized. How much cash do I have right now? iPhone. $217.69. It didn't move. And also, if you do get that, I think it's back a few days. So if you did have a really successful viewing, I think you'll have it'll show up like maybe like four or five days later. So don't trip. All right. Talk to you later.